What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, what's up? My name is Danielle. I hope you stick around and if you do decide to, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. So today I'm going to be doing a video a little bit different and I'm really excited about it. I'm going to be doing five ways to say no to a guy because... Hey, what's up? Can I join? Uh, no? Like... No? Absolutely not. Like... But no means yes, right? No means no, yes means yes. No means no. So. So what I got there, like it <laughs> went in one ear out the other. So no means yes? Yeah, okay, I'll say it. So if you guys don't know who this lovely person is already, this is Joey, Joey Kidney. Say hi to everybody. There's nobody, what? There's nobody there. The camera. Hello camera, everybody. Hi, I'm Joey. Uh, I'm nervous. Oh, I can tell. Anyways, today um, we're gonna be doing a really fun video, just about like five ways to say no to a guy because you know sometimes guys just guys need to know. Like they, they need to get know. It? Get it? Guys need to know. Oh, that was good. I liked it. So I thought I'd have Joey come join me today. Um, he just happened to be in the area, so we actually filmed a video on his channel too. I want to tell him a little bit about what we did. Maybe not. No, I don't know if I want maybe, to. Yeah, maybe just like click the link down below and then. Yeah. yeah. And if you're coming from my channel, make sure you hit subscribe on Danielle. She's very lovely. And she makes amazing videos. She's gonna help you out throughout your whole entire life, basically. She has everything. So hit subscribe and Thank hit a you. like. I don't know how many we're trying to get Thanks. to, but. Oh, I never do this. Um, let's go for 4,000 likes. Don't say it like a boy. <laughs> for the let's go boys. for 4,000 likes. 4,000 freaking likes. Let's go for 4,000 likes, boys. <laughs> So anyways, we're gonna get down to the nitty gritty because I don't know about you guys, but I've had issues where it's like, you're friends with a guy, but he wants more and you don't, and it's like, what do you do? So that's what we're here to tell you guys today. He knows. I know, I know him very well. That's why I picked him to do this. <laughs> it hurts, okay? Okay. It's not, a, it's not a fun thing. So tip number one is to not be super eager when they send you a text. Like if they send you a text, don't respond right away or just kind of be more short with them. Not in a mean way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can either like take the two minutes where like the text will pop up again or you can take the 10 or you can take the, you know, just never reply. Or just take the L and just don't reply. Yeah. I personally think that you still need to reply. I mean like if they're just being genuinely very annoying and they're just like obsessive and you know, that's a point that like you need, you need to stop. But like if they are a friend of yours, I mean obviously you need to respond to them because like they are a friend, but you know. So it's not like when I text you though, right? You, right. You know, Joey will text me and I'll see the two minute mark and then I'll be like, eh, and then, you know, after well, like. I'll send another. Cause and I'll answer. send another cause he's like, ah oh, crap. Like she's not responding. So then like 20 minutes later, I'm like, oh, okay, fine. Like I have to respond. So then I'll respond. But like, just like really short. So like he knows, you know? It's my life. It's my life. <laughs> and, and he's okay with it. Like he's still here today. He's sitting in with me doing a video. He's fine. Yeah, like, I'm great with it. Even though like I friend zoned him. Another really good tip is that if somebody's asking to hang out with you, don't make it a one-on-one -on -one thing. Make sure you're always in a public setting with other people so that it's not just this awkward thing that like, ah, and then exactly. kiss, and it's like, no. Exactly, like there's people right over there, so that's why. Is that why? <laughs> if they say like, hey, you wanna like, go get a movie. Oh yeah, like, you respond like, yeah, let's, like, I'll ask my friends, like, you ask your friends, we'll make it like a group thing, and they'll be like, oh, like, got it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I got it now. Tip number three, you know, there's gonna be times when you don't know what to say, so we have some lines for you guys to use. For example, you could say something like, and this is like genuine, you know, I don't wanna ruin our friendship. Like sometimes like if you're a good friend with them, you don't like wanna risk it and like try it and not work out and you don't wanna not be their friend. So, I, I mean, mean, depends if they're cute or not. But another one is say that you just don't have any chemistry. You have zero chemistry with each other and it's just, not gonna work out. It's yeah. just not being honest. And that happens. Like they might think that you do, but like you really don't. And then yeah. maybe they'll take a step back and be like, oh, you're right. Or you could just say something like, I'm not ready right now. Like I'm busy. Like I'm doing my own thing. I'm being Beyonce. Like, you know, I have these days when I'm just like, I don't want anything to phase me. Like I gotta do right. my thing. I'm like trying to work on myself right now. Like I've said that. Like it's true. Like <laughs> it's like the cliche one. No, it's so cliche, but like I am like strongly, but like the most cliche things are like so true. Everything happens for a reason. Oh, like um, you like waffles and I like pancakes. It's just like not gonna work out. Like pancakes are like smooth as a baby's bottom. Uh -huh. Waffles are like baby syrup cups. Like who wants that, right? That's a good one. <laughs> I use that all the time, it works. Guys, I'm gonna work for you. Yeah, my mom doesn't love me very much anymore. Oh. Sorry. So the fourth tip is to have some just absolutely crazy excuses that are just like 
ridiculous so you can have some fun with it. Like, for example, if they ask you to go to the lacrosse game, what would you say to that? Uh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm allergic to physical activity. Exactly, and they'll get the hint right away. <laughs> right? Or uh, they say, hey, do you want to go get breakfast? And you're like, uh, uh, I don't like bagels. Uh, and bagels. They're, they're, Did you say bagel? Is that you see? Say? No one likes it when they say bagel. So then they'll be like, uh, I don't want to go okay. with you. That's a perfect excuse. It doesn't really work, but, you know, give it, a, give, it a, give it a try. Yeah. Okay. What? Anyways. You want to get a bagel? Absolutely not. There you go. And the last tip, if all else fails and they just, they just don't get it, you know, Right? At one point, you just have to be honest, and like it's gonna hurt a little bit, but at the end, it will just hurt them in the end. It, you know, things can work out in the end. You just, you just kind of have to, you know, give them hints and stuff, and then they'll finally get it. And then if they don't, what they, you, you just, Joey, what do you, what do you, um, I have to be honest with you. I don't think. Think what? I think that we need to just be friends in the future. What? Because, you know, like, we just have different ideas of things, you know? Like, you want one thing, I want the other. You know, like, we're, we're so big, but... No, like, I'm really sorry, and I've been trying to be nice about it, but I just think, you know, in the long run, like, I'm working on myself. We have, like, zero chemistry, too. Like, like, I don't know about you, but that's just, like, how I feel. Like, and I, I don't want to do this wrong way, but I'm just, like, I'm just doing me right now. Like, I'm still, like, working on trying to get into college, and, like, I just have a lot going on. Like, so you, like, you know, you're on tour all the time. Like, I just think, like, for the best, like, just for both of our mental health, like, we need to just, you know, draw the line, right? Here. Just, like, there. So. Okay. I respect that. Thanks. I'm just gonna cry myself to sleep later tonight. <laughs> but in all seriousness, you guys, um, it's okay to say no. Yes. 100%. And you know, like sometimes it's gonna be hard to hear stuff like that, and like we've all been there with like different things. But you know, sometimes things like that happen, and you just kind of have to go with it. And like I want you guys to know that you shouldn't ever, ever feel uncomfortable around a guy. If you feel uncomfortable around a guy, like you can say no. Like it's yes. okay if you start to feel like uncomfortable very soon. Like. Just hint to him, or don't hint to him, just say just no. Just like, roll up the sleeves, wind up, and just punch him right now. Oh, sorry, that hurt. Uh, don't listen to him. What he's trying to say is it's okay to say no, and I just wanted you guys to know that. In the end, it's not gonna be easy, and it's, people are gonna get hurt. People are gonna get hurt, but it's for the better, and it's better to be honest and truthful than in the end where somebody truly could get hurt physically or emotionally rather than just ripping off the band-aid and just telling somebody how do you feel. So exactly. I recommend just saying what's in your mind. Be blunt. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know we enjoyed making it for you guys. Um, I hope it was helpful for you guys in any way. Comment down below if you want to see him on my channel again. Um, but it might give him the wrong message. So just be careful what you do. Damn! Anyways, I love you guys so much. Make sure to go check out this who do you talk video. to? You said say hi to everybody and now you say you love them so much. There's a window behind us. No. In front of us. No, I, I love them. They're right there. Um, anyways. <laughs> he won't get it ever. But, um, <laughs> won't get lots of things. But, um, I love you guys so much. You guys right there in the camera. Um, make sure to subscribe to my channel and his. I will have the link down below to the video that we filmed. It's... <laughs> The ending is just probably the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. And yes. the weirdest and the awkwardest, so... I'm and cringing if, thinking about it. <laughs> so... If you're coming from my channel, please subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below that you want to see another video. Only if you truly want to. Just do that. And if you don't, I'll be mad. But, anyways. I love you guys so much. I've said that a couple times. And I will see you guys very soon for our next video. Bye, guys. Bye. Me, me, me.